Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh talking field hockey today, and I'm joined by assistant coach Jamie Goldkind. Uh, first and foremost, welcome to our little Thank video you. essays here. <laughs> um, second year on, on the squad as an assistant coach. Uh, I, at this point, you've probably adjusted well, and, and things are a little bit easier for you. How have you enjoyed the experience of being an assistant? Yeah, it's been great. It's been a huge learning experience going from the player to the coach and yeah. coming up with drills and you know, a lot goes into planning a practice and preparing for a game. So huge learning experience, but I, I loved every second of it so far. And I'm sure you know what you like for drills and what you didn't like for drills. And I have a gut feeling knowing knowing coaches that even the ones you don't like still kind of reappear anyway. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> funny. I'll say get on the line and I feel bad doing it, but it, then you I'm all... Yeah, but I'm like, I know it will make them a better athlete, so. And you're working, uh, you were a midfield and a forward when you played, and yes. you're kind of working with that group now. Yeah, so I, I focus and help out with attack and, um, you know, offensive corners and movement on the field and work on that with them. You got a good a, got good crew to work with, yeah, for led sure. by Caitlin Dempsey, of course. What's yes. it like to work with talent like Caitlin or others that this team has? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, when they when the players have speed and great ball control, you know, you can really motivate them to do whatever and have good skills and great vision. So, it's exciting when they score. You feel like proud and <laughs> I help them and you know, motivated them. Not every player wants to become a coach. What was the driving idea behind trying this out? That, it was always my plan. Um, I think I was a player that, you know, I was a captain, um, kind of always had those leadership qualities and just always thought that I taught the, the, taught the game better than personally played. Um, so it was just always, I knew I wanted to coach and teach. Team is eight and six on the year at this point. A few weeks left, a lot of conference games. We'll talk about those in a minute. A uh, little bit of a rough spot in the last few weeks, but because the competition has been tough, right, you come right. out of it so far at 500, still with a winning record. The team's got to be pretty confident about that. Yeah, um, obviously, no matter what, getting the win definitely boosts our confidence. So just keep on focusing on improving is our number one goal. I was going to say, big win just the other night, double overtime. Long game. <laughs> in conference action, which was even more key, but a nice win in double overtime. Just looking at the reactions of the win, <laughs> you could see both elation and you could also see a bit of a sense of relief. Yes. Oh, gosh. When Dempsey scored that goal, I just was like, thank God. <laughs> yeah. It was a long game, but and it was a hard battle fought, but um, I definitely, we started out the game strong and you know put two goals up right away. And uh, it definitely was a hard, well-earned win. I was going to say, you get up early 2 nothing, all on penalty shots, interestingly enough. Yeah. Um, and then you have to hold on, and they're chipping at you. Now it's 2-1. Now yeah. it's 2-2 as an assistant or as the coaching staff. What are you trying to tell the team to keep them motivated and not let this kind of disappear on you and get that win in overtime? Yeah, I guess we just say, you know, you put two goals up. You know you can score, um, play with heart, talent, and uh, it's – try to tell them it's a conference game win so we do need this yeah. you know really motivate them but th we could see fire and like determination in their <laughs> eyes so um, we were pretty happy with the win and knew they could do it. Speaking of uh, speaking of ball control as you mentioned earlier Caitlin Dempsey that winning goal yeah. nice little spin move right there right? Yeah. inside the arc <laughs> and then a nice little lift uh, to get that goal past yeah. the goalie. And we always you know we try to say you want to move the goal and uh, change up things and especially I think other teams know to look for her so the lift shot was a nice touch and yeah, they left her just people. a little bit too open yeah gave her enough room to move exactly and she and she did it so buried it we're proud of her for sure absolutely another game that was big at least for you I know for the team too because you want to keep the winning ways unfortunately it was a 2-1 loss but to your alma mater York yeah. out of Pennsylvania what were the emotions for you standing on the other sideline this yeah, time? Yeah, uh, it's almost a bittersweet feeling. You know, I want the program that I came from to succeed. Sure. Um, I still knew some of the girls on the team. But, you know, I'm a coach now for Stevenson, so I wanted, <laughs> want that, I wanted that for the win. the other green. Yeah, for, yeah, the other green. Um, so I, I wanted that win. And it was a hard game, though. We, we, it definitely was a battle. Um, York did play great. And, we you know, we got a goal in at the very last couple minutes so made it interesting just, yeah but uh, it definitely was a hard fight on both teams so we weren't you know that out of their league right now so it was a good game <laughs> well, it's been good those three overtime games you played have been at home they've been wins right. you uh, stay at home this Thursday when you take on Wilson and non-conference action yes. this is kind of one of those uh, 
tricky games. You got to be focused on conference play, but you want to keep the winning ways going. What's the message to the team? Yeah. Um, well, we definitely we want this win, so to build conf um, to build uh, momentum and confidence going into yeah. Alvernia. And so we just want to play hard. We're still looking to play, you know, that full game, sure. fast, intensity, competitive. You know, we start off a game strong and we come back a little slow and then pick it up. So again, I think our main goal is play Wilson, you know, the full field, full time, hard, intense, really rack up the score. It'd be great so we can roll right into Alvernia with ready to go. Of course, Alvernia conference game. It's already big because it's a conference game. You guys would like to improve on last year's 10 wins, yeah, get more than that. For sure. At the same time, make the conference tournament, make a, a dent in that tournament as well. Mm -hmm. So the win, the game against Alvernia is big in, 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 in all those senses. But Lebanon Valley with a win over Messiah has also changed the landscape of the conference a little bit. Do you feel pressure? Do you feel optimistic? Do you feel, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to really kind of put our foot in the ground? Yeah, you know, I think no matter what, we're, we don't we don't want to depend on the other teams. And sure. the LVC upset was was huge, but that's still no guarantee for us. So just again, focusing on our game and what we need to do to beat Alvernia is big. A few games left, as we mentioned. We mm -hmm. mentioned the two this week, Wilson and Alvernia. So what's it? What I mean, this is a tough part of the season where the teams it's been grind at this point. Yeah, you, yeah. You've been tested. You've had these overtime games. How do you keep the team focused? How do you keep them sharp? especially with a game on Thursday, turn around travel on Saturday. Yeah, you know, it, it comes down to how we plan practice. Um, we plan part of the practice intense, you know, definitely incorporate some sprints and long runs that can continue building their mental toughness. And then we want to make sure we have fun. You know, we throw in a few fun games <laughs> and get the girls, like, excited to play field hockey and remember, like, the love of the game is always important. I've seen the get on the line. I've also seen some of the few fun games. Yeah. They definitely have fun right. during practice. Well, thanks for joining me. No I certainly appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck this week Thank against you. Wilson and Alverney. Again, Wilson here at Mustang Stadium, 7 o'clock start time. You can watch it at the stadium or, of course, on SUTV. And, of course, they'll be on the road against Alverney. We'll catch up mm -hmm. with the field hockey team on the other side of the weekend to find out how they're shaping up for their last push of the regular season. Yeah. For Jamie Goldkind, I'm Dave McHugh for Go Mustang Sports.